Hey, today I want to tell you a little bit about how to look under the hood with WebRTC applications, video conferencing applications, and uh, WebSockets. So Chrome has some really nice debugging tools. Um, you've probably seen them before for looking at the HTML and JavaScript of a web page. It's also got uh, debugging tools that tell you about WebRTC uh, debug statistics, what's going on with those WebRTC connections. And in the network part of the Chrome um, Inspector, the de developer tools, you can also look inside the WebSocket connections and see what data is being sent back and forth. So um, video conferencing applications that use WebRTC, like OBS Ninja, will make some use of WebSockets for the initial session handshake um, to connect both ends. Uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer connection for the video to be sent, but for the initial handshake, you need a little bit of, of handshaking information um, sent back and forth so that those folks can find each other. So I'll show you here um, how, first, how to uh, inspect what's going on with a WebSocket. So regular HTTP is a line-oriented protocol. You open a connection to a server, and those connections to a server are using a network socket. So the term socket uh, is pretty old, and it just means a connection. We have a pipe, if you will, that we can send some data to the server and get a response back from the server. Uh, a lot of the internet protocols are line-based, and so with a web page, we might say get echo.html, and uh, we'll get that page back, the content of that page back, and we'll display it. With WebSockets, they're built on top of HTTP, but um, the WebSocket connection is meant uh, to stay open for a longer period of time. What you send over that WebSocket connection is totally up to your application. So as the other end needs to be um, expecting the data that you send. And then that connection can stay open for a while, and that later on, that server might send you some more information. So um, that can be used to build things like chat applications or to let your web page react to things that have happened on the server or for the server to tell your web page about things that have happened. In the case of WebRTC handshaking, it's just used in a very simple way, right at the beginning of a connection. It's not fancy. So WebSocket.org has a nice little demo site, and we can make a connection to an Echo WebSocket server. So what that's going to do is just send back exactly the same data that we sent it. So it doesn't really need to understand or interpret the data. It's just going to accept whatever we send and turn around and send it right back to us. So if I open up the Chrome Inspector tools here, I'm looking at the Network tab. And I've got my request filtered down to WebSocket requests. So now we're recording network activity on this web page on the, the Echo server on WebSocket.org. And I am going to connect. You'll see the URL scheme that we're using is WS. There's also a secure, um, a secure scheme, just like HTTP and HTTPS, WSS. And we're just going to connect to this Echo service. You can see that a connection has shown up on the right side here in the network monitor. I'm going to click on this. And as you'd expect, uh, with any type of HTTP request, you can see the headers. You can see our response code was 101. Um, and you can see that this was upgraded to a WebSocket connection. So the way a WebSocket connection works is it starts off as an HTTP connection and gets upgraded. There's this extra tab here, which is really useful. It's the Messages tab. And so we haven't sent anything over this WebSocket yet. But once we do, we can see those messages coming back and forth from the server. So now we're going to say, hello demo, and send. Our JavaScript demo application here is showing that we sent hello demo and we received hello demo, as we'd expect from um, an echo server. And in Chrome itself, we can see that hello demo was sent up to the server and hello demo was sent back from the server. So the up and down arrow showing which direction that, that data is going. So this is useful. You, if you wanted to debug a real application like um, OBS Ninja, I've got a little URL saved already for a test site. And I'm going to open up the Chrome Inspector. And I want to share my camera. So uh, sharing my screen would also um, open a video connection. I'm going to share a test camera. And there we go. So now we've seen a connection. Um, 
and nothing has been sent, I'm going to start showing my camera. And we can see the data that's been sent is the simple JSON packet um, sending a seed with a stream ID. This stream ID is the same as my stream ID that I'm sending. And so you can see how OBS Ninja on the other side, when it's grabbing that stream ID, would be able to get some more information and use this WebSocket server to facilitate handshaking. Um, Chrome also has this special URL built in called WebRTC Internals. And that will give you a bunch of debug information about all of your connections. So you can see I did a couple of test connections here with OBS Ninja. And you can see exactly what's going on um, with the video that's being sent, minimum 720, max 1280, and uh, the device ID that's being used. So that can be helpful sometimes if you're trying to debug why something isn't working with WebRTC. That's it for today. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.